All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at a prob a set of problems that I feel like um, was a little harder than some of the stuff that I did, let's say, when I was in high school. Uh, my teacher tended to go with a little bit on the easier side, um, but uh, over the years, calculus has uh, ramped up a little bit in terms of some of the complexity of some of the questions that we look at. So. I thought it would be good to, to go ahead and take a look at a few things and in a few places we'll validate some of those things with Desmos and see how we did. So let's start here with this little question. Now I'm going to talk about tangents and what's called a normal to a curve. Um, that's not something I've mentioned yet in class, but I think by the time this video is you say, see this, we may have. But let's start with here. And so we have this curve, and I want to know the equation of the line that is tangent at the point x equals negative 2. So the first thing you've got to remember is, in order to find a tangent to a curve, we need the slope, but we also need that point on that curve. So the first thing I want to do is find out what is f of negative 2. And um, if you plug in negative 2 cubed, 4 times negative 2 and 5, um, all of this comes out to be just a simple number five, no big deal. So I've got the coordinate negative two, five. So check number one. So when I'm looking for the equation of my line, I could be sitting here right here, almost ready to go. And I just need one more piece, which is the equation of that. I, I need to find that slope. So the next little piece that I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what is f prime. Now, of course, f prime, that's my derivative. That would be power rule would be 3x squared minus 4. Remember, the derivative of 5 is 0. It's a constant. So the derivative of any constant would be 0. So since I know that x is going to be negative 2, I'm going to plug that in. <clears throat> and I've got a slope of 8. And so the equation of my tangent line to that curve should be right there. Um, as mentioned, I thought it would be probably a good idea to do double check and make sure that we're doing well. So I'm going to jump into Google real quick and uh, check out a little Desmos window. Um, I redid this video because I just didn't like how it turned out. So I actually previously had this all set up, but um, tech needed to work on my machine for a minute. So I had to start it over. But anyway, here we go. I'm just going to type in that problem real fast. And I found out the curve right there. Remember, we said our point of tangency was negative 2, 5. That's the name of that. That, that point negative 2, 5 is called the point of tangency. But you can see that, that our value was, in fact, successful. Now, um, if we come back here, a, a follow-up question is to ask the same question, but a slightly different word, which is the word normal. Now, a normal line is a fancy word for a perpendicular one. Um, it actually has some connotations that are a little larger that actually show up for more advanced math classes than this one. But normal simply means perpendicular. So all I needed to do was a quick opposite reciprocal slope, okay? So we wanted a, a quick opposite and reciprocal slope. So let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on here. It looks like tech service is back on my machine <laughs> doing something. So I'm going to try to get over here and stop this share here for a second. And I'm going to... Yeah, so the tech services had to do an update on my machine, and I thought they were done, but they ducked back in for a minute. So when we did this, keep in mind, I just took this slope right here and I made it negative one eighth, right? So if I made it negative one eighth, you can see in this region right here, this is a perpendicular to the curve at that particular moment. Now, um, let's go ahead and uh, head back to a follow-up question, which was actually a little bit harder question, is I wanna know when is the, when is the tangent line horizontal. Now, keep in mind, a horizontal has a slope of zero. So my slope, of course, was 3x squared minus 4, and I want that to be zero. Um, a little quick math says 3x squared is 4, so x squared is 4 thirds, making x equal to plus or minus 2 over the square root of 3. Now, that is the place where that happens. When x is 
two plus or minus root three, that's the place where those horizontal tangents would happen. So again, if we were to go back to that little screen right here, I called this thing, um, let's call this F, right? F of X. So if I ask the calculator or the computer to graph um, two divided by the square root of three, comma, F of, two divided by the square root of three, you could see that that is the place where in fact there was a horizontal tangent. Now that's, there's two different questions that we could ask. One of those questions is what is that horizontal tangent? The other name is like, where does it happen? And I just found out where it happens and that's at both of those places. But if I asked you what it is, the equation be y equals something. It's a horizontal tangent. So then what I would want to do is I would want to plug that back into the original question, right? But what I'm going to then do is I'm going to plug in this value right here, 2 over the square root of 3. Now, this is certainly not going to be a very nice number because I'm plugging in things like 2 over root 3. But you can see that that now is a, the equation of a line that is horizontal that perfectly hits the curve. And of course, if we switch this up and made it negative because there is a plus or a minus, we actually have the other place where that occurs that hits at the coordinate where this value here and here happen to be negative. So hopefully not horribly difficult, but a little challenging. So let's move on to the other question that I wanted to hit. And this is a, a, like, as far as the graph goes, an easier graph, but we're gonna do something a little bit complex with it. So keep in mind, we're looking at a slope of two X minus two here for this particular one, pretty easy. I wanna know about the tangent of this curve that goes through the coordinate X equals negative one. Now this is again, a repeat question. So um, just a slightly easier curve than the previous one. So I wanna find out what is F of negative one. And if we do the math on that, super easy, I get seven. Of course, I wanna know the slope at negative one. So if I plug in negative one here, I got negative four. So it looks like I would have Y minus the Y value, which was seven, X minus the X value, which is negative one. And my slope was negative four. And so that would be the tangent to the curve at that particular value. And again, you know, very easy to check that. And, but I'll look at that in a second. Now, a, a slightly harder question says, I wanna be parallel to four X minus three. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So um, if we are looking for a brand new curve that is um, f of x is, uh, let's see, it was x squared minus 2x plus 4. And I want to be parallel to y equals 4x minus 3. Now, that may bother you a little bit because that curve is hitting in two places. But I'm not saying I want that one to be parallel. I want a brand new line that is in fact parallel. So I want to have something like this, y equals four X plus, let's say, plus A. And what I wanna do is I wanna move this number around a little bit to where somewhere over here, it's going to be parallel to that given line, but I've gotta find out what number makes that actually happen. So let's go ahead and see how we would do that. So what I would do is I would start off with saying, I know that I want the slope of the parallel to be four, but the slope of the curve is two X minus two, which of course is four. I want it to be four. I want that slope to be four. So two X is six and X is three. So the place where that parallel would happen is at the X equals three. So what I need to do is I need to come in here and I would like to find out what is F of three because I need a point because I already have my slope. So if we plugged in three into the original function, I get nine minus six plus four. And so that's seven. So when I plugged in three, I got seven. 
And it looks to me like then if I do y minus 7 and I do x minus 3 with a slope of 4, I would have a nice equation of the line that is in fact parallel to the given one, but it actually then is tangent to the curve. So going back to our little friend Desmos right here, we can make this one, um, let's say y minus 7 like we had. I'm going to put my 4 right there, and let's go ahead and make it x minus 3. And I think you can see very nicely that it hits in here somewhere at x equals 3. So let me double check here. Where is 3, comma, f of 3? I don't need that extra parentheses, do I? f of 3, that's the place right here at three comma seven is that place where that point of tangency is. And you can see that those curves are in fact parallel. <clears throat> okay, now moving back. Here comes the big question. This is the one that I wanted to do is I wanted to come up with a brand new line. Now, keep in mind, the curve is sitting here like this. I've got some point down here and I wanna come up with a line that goes through this point down here that is somehow tangent to the curve itself. Now, keep in mind, because it's a curve, I might be able to uh, make a tangent line that's out here somewhere, but I also might be able to make a tangent line in here somewhere. And so we'll see what happens. So keep in mind, I, I'm not saying that this point is on the curve. In fact, it's quite clearly off the curve. So I need a point and I need a slope. So I know that I'm going to come up with a line that goes through this coordinate right here. And I know it's going to come through this guy right here, but I want it to have the same slope as the curve. And I know that the curve itself had a slope of 2x minus 2. So the first thing is we had to have the same slope. So this is really strange. This is the slope of my line. Now, that's not a line, clearly, because I don't know what x is yet, but it is a line once I know what x is. So if I were to manipulate this a little teeny bit, what I would get is the equation 2x squared minus 6x minus 1. I'm running a little tight on time, so I'm just going to jump to that value right there if you distributed and moved it around. But it also has to intersect the curve. So somehow this 2x squared minus 6x minus 1, which is the sort of fake line, if you will, because it's the ramifications of using this slope, it has to hit that original curve. But the equation of that original curve was x squared minus 2x plus 4. Remember, they have to have the same slope, but they have to have the same point. So this have to cross doing an ever so slight amount of movement we have this problem that was so well designed to factor, what do you know? So I found that x is 5 would make it work, as would x equals negative 1. So that means if I could come back to this original problem and replace the number x with 5 in the slope piece right here, I would get 8. Or if I could replace the x piece with negative 1, I would get negative 4. And I would have these two different lines that validate all of the pieces that I'm looking for. And let's see what happens when we check that out. So here we go. Let's share that screen with this guy right here. And so we have this new line, which is y plus 5, right? We have x minus 2. And I had a slope of 8. I'm going to make this other equation go away, this one as well. I really would like it to go through the point um, positive 2, negative 5 to kind of show that it, in fact, did do that. There it is sitting down there. And then, of course, the other line that we found that worked had a slope of negative 4. And so you're going to see that both of those occur one of them hit at negative 1, 7, and the other one hit up here somewhere at 5, 19. But I have these two equations that are tangent to the curve. And uh, there's one other question I was going to put on this video, but I have now run out of time because the advisor is going to start in a few minutes. And so I will stop here and uh, deal with that question at a later date. Okay, I will see you back in class. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully,